Welcome back to Farming Life Hill Brooks. This week we're in the lambing shed. We're down to the last few ewes to lamb. We started lambing Christmas Day. This is now March. We started planning our lambing 145 days ago. And he was pregnant for roughly five months. And then we get these. This is number eight, Lam, and he doesn't he does know where his mummy is. I'm gonna feed him some milk on the U. Turn her in half, turn her in. Good boy. Right, do you want to get the lamb for a suckle? What are you going to do now? I'm going to feed the lamb some milk. If you put him under the other, he'll drink. Just like that. Now he's happy. And he'll drink it. Here's the lamb that's got a full belly. If you can feel... He's got a really big tummy and he's so heavy now. We help the lamb have some milk because we're not sure if mum and baby aren't bonding very well. Because we helped, he's got a better chance of surviving. This is the ewes that have lambed. This ewe have lambed just like five minutes ago. Because her little cord was went. Here's all the lambs that are born a couple of days ago. You can see if they've got a red mark, they're doubles. And they have two lambs. But if they're a blue like this lamb, it's because he is a single. Here is our good hay that we feed the sheep and cattle. When all the yarns have lambed, it's going to be spring.
Here we're going to explain to you how to put the numbers on the sheet. As you can see, this lamb has the same number as the ewe on her back. We use two different colours, blue and red. Reds are the doubles, blues are the singles. on the top of the gate. The sheep cannot knock it over. In here we have sailing rings. This is a lamin ring. We use these on their tails. Iodine for their belly button. Finally, in case any are falling, we have injection. We're gonna show you the lambing process. Here is how we do it. Imagine if this is the ease rear end. The right way for a lamb to come, his nose and his two front feet. Sometimes lambs can be born, dust their nose first. This is not good. This will result the lamb getting trapped and eventually will die inside the mum. Secondly, some lambs come one leg and their nose first. This would mean we would have to help. We would have to slightly push the lamb so we could put our hand in back inside the ewe and feel for two feet. Once we have found the two feet, we would help 
by pulling very gently on the two feet as the ewe leave. Sometimes lambs can come bottom first. This is called a breech birth. If a lamb bottom first, the lamb is at a higher risk of dying inside the ewe due to drowning. This is what a breech birth isn't good. We aim to have our lambs all coming two feet first for a happy, healthy baby lamb. from their mums. Lambing time is a busy time 
with the water, the tailing, the hay and the feed. These oil buckets, we wash them out and cut them in half and produce them for the youth to have drink because they drink a lot when they're pregnant. These turn into these. They make good water buckets. This morning we're letting news and lambs out. check on them and see if they're okay just in case there is a ewe not sucking to a lamb or we'll need to bring her into the barn. Here they all are. There's roughly 40 ewes out in this field. New sheep want to be. Sheep like to be because it's really sweet. Look, all the ewes are thinking it's food time, but it's not. Now they're going to find their lambs to keep them safe. The lamb's calling for his mum because he doesn't know where it is. field and I will leave them alone now. Here's a creep feeder and you can see these bars. If a you goes into it, it won't eat it. Look. And if you can see, in here is food and these latches, when the wind blows, it stops them from going Blowing off. And then, if you can walk around it, you've got tyres. What do they? What are they for? So you don't hurt your back. Oh, okay. So you can pull it along on wheels. Yeah. Oh, okay. But cool. only at the front, like a tractor. Uh huh. So, so the lambs have feed from here, then, from yeah. this sheep creep. So, what are these trolls for? So that's for the mummies? Yeah. And then that's for the babies? Yeah. Uh, okay. How many times do you have to feed them? You need to feed them twice every 